you can now create rotary roughing operations for cylindrical and conical parts. This new operation type supports ball, bullnose, and flat end mills. Let's begin by looking at operations for a cylindrical part. It's important to correctly define the axis of rotation, in this case the positive ZM axis. Each successive concentric level is removed using a follow part helical cut type. Cut levels are measured from the IPW. When an obstacle is encountered that interrupts the helical motion, the motion switches to fall apart using a zig pattern. Pockets are machined using the fall apart inside out motion. An end view shows that the last cut level does not reach the bottom of the pocket. Top off critical depths allows you to further control the cut depth by specifying a minimum cut depth as a percentage of the specified cut level distance. 0% minimum distance allows the tool to cut all the way to the bottom of the pocket. 85% minimum distance prevents the tool from cutting into the pocket because the depth of the pocket is less than 85% of the specified cut level distance. All levels above are cut at the specified distance. Limiting the machining range allows you to determine the beginning and end cut levels of the range. Limiting radially allows you to restrict the machine depth between a minimum and maximum machining radius. Limiting axially and radially allows you to limit the machined volume to the specified axial width and radial depth. Limiting axially allows you to limit the range along the axis of rotation. Radial limits can be defined easily by dragging start and end cylinders concentrically. Axial limits can be defined by dragging start and end planes along the rotation axis. Smoothing eliminates sharp corners. Infills and finish passes smooth sharp corners on all but the final pass, allowing maximum material to be removed from the part walls. Depth first cuts each region from top to bottom before moving to the next region. Level first moves from one region to the next before repeating the sequence for the next level. Bottom-up cutting between cut levels allows you to optimize cut depths and volume by cutting intermediate levels from the bottom up. Rotary roughing operations can also accommodate cut levels for conical parts. The conical rotary depth mode allows cut levels to follow the conical shape of the part. Without this option, the cut levels would remain parallel to the axis of rotation, cutting deeper and deeper by steps as the cone narrows. Cone angle is measured relative to the specified axis of rotation, in this case the positive ZM axis. This value should reflect the conical shape of the part. In this case, the cone angle is negative 9 degrees. The result is a smooth, continuous four-axis tool path with cut levels that follow the angle of the cone. 